بالقرآن اهتدي في رحبه تحل الحياة شوقا إلى المولى أتاي أسلمت روحي للإله Assalamu alaikum, uh, my name is Hamza Mayat, uh, previously known as Darren Mayat. I'm 40 years old, I live in London. Um, I embraced Islam when I was 27 years of age. Um, I grew up in South Wales. Uh, my parents moved there when I was, I think, six years of age. Um, my parents split when I was young, so it was my father and my stepmother who moved there. So basically, the area we lived was a, uh, it was a white council estate. And basically, it's just a matter of surviving there. The strongest survivor that we get eaten up, yeah. So I ended up um, not in a gang as such, but I was a bit of a football hooligan. I used to travel to watch football matches and fight the rival fans and things like that. And then the gang that we were part of who did that, we'd go stealing in shops here and there and things like that. So I wasn't the greatest uh, um, role model for society. And then that was basically my life. And I would go watching football and fighting, stealing, and work at McDonald's. The first time I heard any Quran was when I was working in a shop in Manchester and um, my, my boss, my friend's sister came to visit him and um, she was trying to give me da'wah about Islam. Your brother Faisal, my, my brother Faisal, yes. Yeah. She was trying to give me da'wah about Islam and um, to be honest with you, I wasn't interested in listening at that time. I, I was young. <laughs> I wasn't really bothered about <laughs> God telling me to do anything. So I, w I was a little bit cocky and I, I was a little bit uh, trying to be a bit smart. So I said to her, look, you think I'm going to hellfire, isn't it, if I don't become a Muslim? She goes, yes, I believe that. I said, okay. So, well, so what? I says, when you go to fire and, you know, your skin burns, it becomes numb, the, the, you know, this, it becomes desensitized and you don't feel the pain. So I'll taste the fire once Allah. and then finished. Allah. And she says, ah, but Allah says, when your skin has burned and you think it can burn no more, we will give you a new skin oh, Allah, to burn Allah, again. Allah, Allah, Allah. So when I started to read and I read the book by um, Yusuf al qadawi Halal al Haram, then I started to realize how practical Islam is and how it applies to the 21st century like nothing else does. So it was after reading that that I knew that Islam was a practical, um, beautiful way to live your life. And even then I adopted most of the practices in my life. You know, I've never been really a racist anyway, to be honest with you. Um, I stopped drinking alcohol because of that. Even before becoming a Muslim, I stopped drinking alcohol. And the amazing thing was, um, I, one Christmas, I was working in a pub on Christmas Eve. And I had stopped drinking alcohol. So I was working behind the bar. These people are like animals. I'm not joking, they're animals. Allah, Allah. And that was one experience. I was, wow, I was talking about alcohol. Islam doesn't teach us. Islam says you can kill one human, humans like killing all of humanity. And all of these teachings can't kill civilians, even in jihad, even in war. There's conditions of civilians and trees and this and that. And people working in the fields. There's so much conditions. I mean, to fly a plane into a load of civilians, for me, it didn't match this description. And they said, are you a Muslim? And I'm like, no, I'm not Muslim. They said, why aren't you a Muslim? That was my first uh, dawah from a non-Muslim. <laughs> why aren't I? And I said to myself, <laughs> why aren't I a Muslim? So I questioned myself, why aren't I a Muslim? If I believe this, then I should be a Muslim. It was only later when I was convinced the Quran was the word of Allah that I seen that verse in there that I would think, oh, subhanAllah. <laughs> Back then she wasn't just giving me her words. She was giving me Allah's words. Because the main reason I embraced Islam, and this is the main reason, this is the honest reason, I didn't want to burn. Allah. Once I became convinced, once I had yaqeen for the nar, for the fire, SubhanAllah, I want to escape that fire. What do I have to do? What do I have to Allah. do? SubhanAllah. And that's when I decided to go down to my um, friends again in London, surprise him. And, um, and that was basically it, really. 